sellers, it's time for another eBay seller shout out. This is the video where anything goes, nothing is in order, <laughs> and the amount of the sale is not important. So listen for your name and please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. That's the only way I will know if you want more of them. And a reminder to make sure you post your $100 and over sales on the $100 thread if you want those to be included in future videos. I see a lot of $100 and over sales on the regular Money Making Monday thread, um, which is fine. You can put them in both places but things are more organized when the $100 sales are in a dedicated place and I can just go there and get the information to make the videos. So that being said, let's look at some sales. We're going to start with Tina Martin DeVore. Have had this chair for over a year, so no cost to me and put it on Facebook Marketplace with pickup because I didn't want to ship it. No interest. So I decided to price it higher and put it on eBay and sold it on best offer of $80 plus shipping in about a month. Not excited about having to pack it, but for the price, I'll get it done and another big item taking up space is out the door. The item is Tito's Vodka Metal Webbed Folding Lawn Chair. And in the comments, someone suggested to ship these types of chairs in a mirror box you can get at a U-Haul store. So yes, you can just go to the U-Haul store and buy one box for a specific item. And I thought that was a great suggestion. So thanks to whoever said that, um, because yes, larger items can be a little bit more cumbersome and time consuming to ship. So I appreciate when somebody has it figured out, <laughs> they share it with the group. Okay, Tracy Broadfoot sold a new pack of maxi pads from 1999. I found these at the thrift store last week. I paid $3.50, which I thought was a little much, but was confident they would sell. They sold in two days for $26 plus shipping. These are vintage, stay free, classic, super maxi, 24 wrapped pads. Her cost $3.50, sold for $26. Brooke Bennett Ownby paid $1 at a yard sale, sold in two days. Lot of L'Oreal Paris Excellence Cream Conditioning Treatment, sold for $32. And Brandy Breen Ford commented, I probably have about this many in my house. Thanks for the idea. And Ginger said, I sold some this week too. Love selling them. Easy to ship. So what happens on these, um, as Brandy alluded to, is that when you buy the hair color box, it has the hair color and all the stuff in it, and this is the conditioner that comes in that kit. And you don't use all that conditioner at one time. It lasts a while. So if you are coloring your hair at home and doing it every maybe eight weeks, these conditioners start to accumulate and you can batch them up and sell them because some people just want the conditioner. They may not even be buying the hair color. They just like the conditioner. So a dollar sold for 32. Sharon Bramsher paid 50 cents at an estate sale, sold in one day for full asking price of $30. There is another pair listed for less than mine, but I used better keywords and listed higher, leaving me room for offers. University of Minnesota Golden Gophers Yellow Suspenders. 
sold for $29.99 and Sharon's cost was 50 cents. Tina Chandler Gifford. I got these academic pocket autobiography and history books at a consignment shop for $6.50. Sold for $99.94 and took about two months to sell. Next up is Sharon Brower. Slow sales this week and low prices, but I'm thankful for each one. Got this lovey at the thrift store for $1.08, sold on best offer for $19 plus shipping after 10 months. Laura Ashley Lamb, Security Blanket Lovey. Aaron Wilson, $7 thrift store find, sold in a week. This is a vintage K-Line J.B. Hunt transport tractor container truck die cast model. $7 and sold for $74.25. I guess I'll be looking for trucks in the toy section now. <laughs> Nancy Barr Strohs bought at a yard sale and sold for the starting bid. It sold overseas. I'm actually surprised I did not get more for it. Starbucks Travel Mug Champ Lake Champlain Monster Vermont Ceramic uh, Coffee Tumbler. So if you don't know who Champ is, <laughs> it is a mythical creature that lives in Lake Champlain up there in Vermont and a little tiny bit of it in Canada. Um, I actually saw a documentary on this. It's kind of like the Loch Ness Monster. There's been sightings and is it real? Is it not real? But it's legendary. And here's the sign up there next to the lake that says, Legends and Lore, Champy. Legendary Lake Monster lives here. Over 300 sightings reported since 1819. Up to 200 feet long, NYS law protects this national icon. So if you didn't know about that, now you do. Um, I mean, you learn all kinds of things watching my videos, even about uh, cryptids, which are like Bigfoot, the Yeti, Loch Ness Monster, all those that we don't know if they're real or not. <laughs> the unknown is just fascinating. So uh, that's your geography lesson and your cryptozoology lesson for today. Okay, Aaron Wilson, $2 estate sale. Seemed like I saw somewhere that stuff with blockbuster logos sells well. This is a vintage 80s, 90s blockbuster video beach party hot pink promotional water bottle. $37.49 for basically what is a uh, piece of plastic. $2 at an estate sale. Janet Adams Turnage got 10 of these Stampin' Up! paper cutters at a thrift store for $50. Unknown to me at the time, this particular retired design is highly sought after. Mine had loss of silver on the design, so I listed for $60 and it sold overnight. Most go for $65 to $100 plus. A couple of days later, one auction went for $160. Definitely a bolo. This is a Stampin' Up! Paper Shapers round tab punch whale tail stamp so it's a paper stamp that cuts the paper um, you don't use ink with this it just cuts out the shape sixty dollars and this was fifty cents these craft supplies can sell for great money Suzanne Keen bought this Kate Spade wedding planner for eight dollars at a thrift store it's new in the box, listed for $49.99, sold on best offer of $40 less than a month later. This is Kate Spade, New York, Bridal Wedding Planner Book Organizer. And her cost was $8 and it sold for $40. 
Okay, here is a longtime bolo. Siobhan Sherrod Ramirez bought this new in box at a garage sale on Saturday for $3. Sold on Sunday for $64 plus shipping. I'm all about making it the lowest priced available and selling it quick when I get them for a great price. This is Mr. Coffee Coco Motion Automatic Hot Chocolate Machine. Three dollars and sold for sixty-four. And I just want to draw your attention to a very old blog post <laughs> I did back in March of 2014. This item was on my top ten bolos to sell on eBay and Amazon, and I'm talking about how. Um, this was a hot item. It can sell for up to $300 in new condition on eBay and $100 in used condition. So if we go look at current information, uh, this video is being made in June of 2022. And the information here is from Terapeak going back one year. You can see that this is still a bolo. This still can sell for over $150 in new condition. So, um, Siobhan, I totally respect your business model. Um, the quick flip, um, a lot of sellers do it that way, but I just wanted to let my audience know that um, this can still sell for a lot of money if you're willing to wait. You know, some sellers just want that quick flip and move on to the next thing they don't want to store the item. Um, they just like that fast turnover. And then others want to wait for that higher price. So it's all about how you want to run your business. But I just wanted to point out that <laughs> this one has been a bolo for a long time. And these are the kind of bolos I like to learn and remember and that go in my uh, books and calendars because if you're new to eBay, you probably don't know this. This might be news to you. And comment below if if you knew about this or not. I'm just interested to hear about that because um, I don't know what you know. Everybody knows different things. And I feel called to just keep putting this information out there to help everybody know more about eBay selling so that we can all make more money. Okay, Tanya Gibson paid pennies in a lot of zillions of vintage stickers that I paid $40 total for in a local auction. Two huge binders of stickers plus some rolls. Listed for three months. Sold for full asking price of $29.99 plus shipping. These are Mrs. Grossman's Vintage Stickers uh, Valentine Love Letters 1990. Okay, next is Jane Tyson. I found this at a thrift store for 15 cents. The outside of the container was pretty scratched and scuffed, but it had never been used. Listed it and sold in about three months for best offer price of $69.99 plus shipping. This is Jungle Gardenia Dusting Powder by Tuvash Vintage, four and a half ounces. 15 cents and sold for right at $70. Jen Cangelosi said, My daughter cleaned out some of her plush. This one still had tags. Listed for $24.97, sold with a 20% off coupon for $19.98. Took four months to sell. This is Ty, Banjo the Dog, Beanie Baby with Big Eyes sold for $19.98. And my question to you, Jen, is who got the money? You or your daughter, which I'm guessing this was your 13-year-old because I know the other one's in college now, um, but who knows? Maybe you cleaned out her stuff when she was away at school and she didn't even know. <laughs> okay, Mark Sherrill has some toothbrushes. Two new vintage oral care Mentadent toothbrushes. He paid a dollar at an estate sale and sold these two toothbrushes for $30 plus $4 shipping. Amazing that people will pay this for vintage stuff, but um, 
you know, anything's up for grabs when you're talking about eBay. Laura Simmons Keene has a tie, paid $4 at Goodwill, sold in about five hours. And this is a brand I was not familiar with, Men's Stefano Ricci Tie, Navy Blue Pink Geometric 100% Pure Silk. $4 sold for $35. Savannah Boone, I bought this at a yard sale for five cents. It sold in four days for full asking price of $17.95. Vintage, pretty neat soap box, hard case, travel container. So this is a plastic soap holder that sold for $18. Um, <laughs> wonder how many of these I've passed over in the years. Patty Gearing Paul, magazine lot, which is part of a movie memorabilia consignment project that I am working on. I've sold a bunch of these lots now. Seems like there's an interest in old magazines from the 80s and 90s. Sold within two weeks. 27 Entertainment Weekly magazines from the 90s. Simpsons, Madonna, Vanilla Ice, Spike Lee. And I think this one right up here in the corner might be Tom Cruise. Um, and there's Madonna. And this is the actress from 30 something. Um, <laughs> it's just interesting what people collect and what they want. So she didn't say the exact cost, but I know she bought a huge movie memorabilia lot. These sold for $65. Oh, there's Jamie Lee Curtis in her younger days. Um, very interesting. Brenda Rady Wall bought from a yard sale for $5. Sold in a few weeks. The lady also had a brand new pair of Doc Martin sandals for $40. She said they sell for around $80. No, thank you. I'll just take these old ones. Vintage 90s Doc Martens, brown leather Oxfords, five bucks, sold for $99.99. Jessica Van Hove, revived by Blackwing, that is a company. People love this style of eraser and some pencils from this brand command very strong prices bought from multiple bags on the wall at Savers. I've gotten better about using more of the junk pencils that I don't like, so I likely have under a dollar in this set. Longer tail than I'd expected, maybe three to four months, but was happy to get the full price. This is a lot of five Eberhard Faber Microtomic Lead Pencils. $34.95 for a lot of five pencils. And I do love those little grab bags. Um, not all stores have them. Our Goodwills don't really have them. Um, there are a few other thrift stores, but I try to look in there and see is there one thing that's worth selling and then I'll buy it. And I usually find other things in those bags that are worth selling, but they don't like you to open them in the store and I try to be compliant so I don't get kicked out, you know, and it, it's kind of like a treasure hunt when you get home. It's like, oh, what's in here? <laughs> so five pencils, $34.95. Valerie May Ratliff paid $1 at Goodwill, listed for $40, sold on best offer of $30 in six months. This is Treasures of the Earth Cards, Grolier 1999, Science, Nature, Gems, Crystal, Rock. So it's some kind of science rock thing. <laughs> Teaching thing, science thing, homeschool thing. A dollar sold for $30. Michelle Bodish Cook. 
2015 white label cinch jeans paid one dollar at a garage sale sold in 10 days for $31.45 plus five dollar shipping had some minor wear damage that I highlighted in the photos one dollar sold for $31.45 cinch jeans okay here's an unusual item Virginia Hellman Doc, another item from my daughter's surgery. She paid $70 on Amazon and used it just a few times. Sold for full price of $34.99 plus shipping in about a month. This is a shower shirt, water resistant, post surgery mastectomy chest protection. I've never seen anything like this so that is a very interesting item and had a purpose served its purpose and then Virginia sold it Angie McGuire Sears bought a lot of ephemera cost about 25 cents this sold in two hours for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents this is Smokey the Bear U.S. Forest Service Calendar 1957. 25 cents sold for 20 bucks. Laura Harmon got this for free from an ad on Facebook, listed and sold in a week. Crochet Granny Square Boho Crossbody Purse. These are very popular right now. So it was free and it sold for $33. Jody Clark paid $2 at an estate sale for this Kiss Farewell Tour 2000 t-shirt. It's faded, has a ton of holes, wear to the neck and hem area and the lettering and graphics are cracked and worn. Sold in less than an hour for $35 plus $6 shipping. Vintage Kiss t-shirt, size 2 extra large, farewell tour. $2 sold for $35, and it was in terrible shape, <laughs> so collectors don't care if it's perfect. Jen Cangelosi, $8 at Salvation Army. This was the last of three I had purchased in December 2021. Buyer used 20% off coupon and paid $87 plus shipping. This is a new LK stainless steel wavy wire rinsing basket and dish rack. $87.99 for this wire basket. Now, if you're not looking at these things, uh, I guess you will now because um, this is a hiding in plain sight kind of item. It doesn't look very expensive. It was $8 and it sold for $88. So um, <laughs> just goes to show you, keep looking, look closely, look at brand names, look at everything because you just never know. Janet Adams Turnage, thrift store for $3, sold for $25 in three days. I really struggled letting this one go. And I agree with you, Janet, I love this. I love the colors, I love the beading, I love the pattern, that's just beautiful. 1960s jewel tone canvas bag tote purse handbag, $3 and it sold for $24.99. Okay, Robin Riedel, <laughs> you get the prize for nostalgia. Um, from downsizing my personal collection, so free to me. There were no comps, so I based it off of similar items and what I would be happy with getting for it. Sold in a week for full price to someone in the UK. This is NASA Skylab Metal Medallion 1973-74. Um, it's just a little metal. Um, who remembers Skylab? <laughs> I had a friend whose dog was named Skylab. They named it um, around this time. So whenever I hear Skylab, I think of their dog. Um, <laughs> but this used to be on TV all the time, on the news, talking about Skylab. Um, yeah, that just that brought back some fun memories. So thanks for posting that, Robin. Susie Palmer Grant 
paid $6.80 at a thrift store and sold in three days for $50 plus shipping. It was lightly faded and I noted that in the description or I would have held out for more. I love Pottery Barn and that is a beautiful set. This is Pottery Barn Penelope Medallion King Duvet Set Paisley with two shams. So she paid $6.80 and sold this for $50. Sawyer, love it. <laughs> I had to include this one because of this word, gnarly. <laughs> I just think about Jeff Spicoli and the word gnarly. <laughs> Anyway, from a gnarly estate sale in which I filled my entire car with old books and magazines for less than $10, sold in less than two weeks at full price. This is a book, Italy, the New Domestic Landscape by Emilio Ambaz, 1972, sold for a gnarly $50. Dina Napoli. Now this is quite educational, so listen up. She said, I bought a bag of Beanie Babies a month ago since I wanted an elephant beanie that was in for myself, but I saw that there was some earlier beanies in the bag. There were 24 beanies in the bag, and I know everyone says Beanie Babies don't sell, but if it has an older tag with errors on it or on the tush tag, there are still collectors out there. I paid $13 for the bag and sold three beanies so far. One for $15, one for $11.50, and this one for $55. It took two weeks to sell, so now I keep a lookout for older beanies. Easy to list and easy to ship. So, the question that everyone is asking, and was asked by Susie Grant, says, how can you tell the vintage ones? So, Dina said, the first thing you look at is the tush tag to see what material is inside. If it is filled with PVC pellets, which were then called PE pellets, it's an older version. Then you look at the tag and see what generation it is. If it has just TY for tie on the front without the saying Beanie Babies, then it is older. When you open up the tag, there are different versions. Ones without the birth date or a little poem about the beanie then it's older. I could go on and on, but I was fortunate to find an old Beanie Babies collector's book from my mom that had all this information in it, but it's easy to find online as well. Kind of interesting how the different generations of tags work with the overall marketing of the items. They were made to be collected, but as we all know, it went a little wrong. So here's a couple of photos from her listing and you can see that it does say made in China. Some people assume that anything made in China is not going to be valuable or collectible and that's not really true. And then on the tush tag it shows 1993 as the year and then the PVC pellets. So um, I didn't know any of that. <laughs> Patricia McKinley bought at Goodwill for $1.50 and sold for $35.99 plus shipping during 10% off sale. Took three months. This is a Christmas item that sold in June. California Creations Ceramic Ready to Paint Merry Christmas 1995. Emily Smith Last weekend, I found 10 Robert Graham shirts at a moving sale for $5 each. I couldn't believe it. Photographed and began listing them on Monday. This was the first to sell overnight. Took a best offer of $45. This is a gorgeous Robert Graham men's three extra large purple paisley dress shirt with flip cuffs. $5 sold for $45. Mary Pretzer Walker found two unopened packs of this photo paper in a free box at a garage sale. Listed for $21.99 each with two available. Buyer bought both. Lesson for me is never ignore the free boxes. This was even late in the day. Easy listing and easy shipping. The item is Kodak Professional Luster Inkjet Photo Paper.
free and sold for $43.98 for two packs. Rhonda Fields O'Neill cleaned out my mother's hall closet. These were in a vintage sewing box. She gave me the box and told me to throw the thread away. Nope, didn't do that. Took about two months to sell. This is a lot of 70 spools of vintage sewing thread sold for $18.50. Marlene Ward has a fun item. I remember this item. I sold Avon in high school and I loved this stuff. <laughs> she said, purchased this years ago after learning how it distracts biting gnats, flies, and chiggers. While working on putting up fencing here on the ranch, the old rancher helping us suggested we buy it. I did, but never used it. Don't recall how much it cost back then, but I know it wasn't much over $5. I sold this twice before this time, once to a buyer in Mexico, and Customs returned it to me saying it could not be accepted into the country. Second time I took best offer, but buyer never paid. <laughs> Delighted that this time around I had it listed for only two months and it sold for full asking price of $30 plus shipping going to Alabama. This is vintage Avon original skin so soft bath oil 2005 factory sealed. So she had this in her stash for a long time. <laughs> and third time's a charm, just keep trying. Some are items are what I call boomerang items. They just keep coming back and they keep coming back, but eventually they'll stick. Okay, Jessica Kegel Faber. This is an everything sells eventually sale. <laughs> it took two years. Bought for a dollar and sold for best offer of $3. So not big bucks, but it sold. The item is Fit Flop Split Toe Ninja Socks, University of Oregon Ducks. Sold for $3, but you know, you've already done the work. You've taken the pictures. You've listed it. Even if it's a dud, you want to try to get something for it. So yeah, I like her title. Everything sells eventually, because that is true. Jane Brown. Garbage Rescue, also accepted offer on this one, had listed for over a year. Elvis 75th, I guess anniversary, playing cards, new in package. These sold for $10, but she just pulled them out of the trash, so hey, I love items like that. Kim Womack, found these in a craft lot I bought at an estate sale for $2, sold in two days. They are small embellishments for hand embroidery. The actual title is Mill Hill Glass Crystal Metal Treasure for Needlework Projects. So if you look at these, they're just little bitty beads and embellishments in these little bitty packages, but they sold for 40 bucks, $2 investment. So good things come in small packages. Okay, and the last one is Allie Curtis bought these Y2K Care Bears at a thrift store for $1.50 each. I lot them up and they sold within two weeks of listing on an offer. They may have done better individually sold, but wanted them to go all as one. So you can see there are uh, seven Care Bears vintage Y2K stuffed animals and her investment was $1.50 each and the lot sold for $70. Okay, we've reached the end. I hope you enjoyed that. I had fun making it and I like the randomness <laughs> of this video. Um, again, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up or comment below or both would be great. And as always, have a profitable and productive day on eBay. See you next time. Bye.